A Kitten's Fancy The kitten mews outside the door, the catbird in the tree. The sea mew mews upon the shore, the catfish in the sea. The emu with his feathers queer is mewing in the zoo. Why is it that I never hear a pussy willow mew? In Darkest Africa At evening when the lamp is lit, the tired human people sit, and doze or turn with solemn looks the speckled pages of their books. Then I the dangerous kitten prowl, and in the shadows softly growl, and roam about the farthest floor, where kitten never trod before. And crouching in the jungle damp, I watch the human hunter's camp, ready to spring with fearful roar, as soon as I shall hear them snore. And then with stealthy tread I crawl into the dark and trackless hall, where neath the hat trees shadows deep, umbrellas fold their wings and sleep. A cuckoo calls, and to their dens the people climb like frightened hens. And I'm alone, and no one cares, in darkest Africa downstairs. The Dog The dog is black or white or brown, and sometimes spotted like a clown. He loves to make a foolish noise, and human company enjoys. The human people pat his head, and teach him to pretend he's dead, and beg and fetch and carry too, things that no well-bred cat will do. At human jokes, however stale, he jumps about and wags his tail, and human people clap their hands and think he really understands. They say good dog to him, to us. They say poor puss and make no fuss. Why dogs are good and cats are poor, I fail to understand, I'm sure. To someone very good and just, who has proved worthy of her trust, a cat, a cat will sometimes condescend. The dog is everybody's friend.